Hello, it's Tractor Joe, and for the sake of my sanity, I am going to keep do making these videos. I believe, yes, we have set our sights on the moon, and evidently they want us to take some uh, surveys of it, but I do not necessarily trust this, unless there's temperature surveys, in which case I'm definitely going to send a probe that probably can't survive there. Just to see if I could, but yeah. It is night. Now one thing I know a lot of people do is that they use this warp to next morning button. I don't like using it because I don't mind launching at night, but for the sake of launches I'll probably change it to day anyway. I mean, to be honest, I could care less what time of the day it was, so long as I get alignment for the moon, it doesn't matter. And so we have 2.7 uh, stuff. We happen to have some plane parts researched, and if I were to check, we have some temperature surveys below a certain level, and I believe I took contracts to do those surveys. Mm. This is the one. Measure temperature in flight above. Uh, no, below. Below. That's the big point here. I need to construct a plane. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. We need to do temperature surveys, and I'm wondering if I should do a manned or unmanned vehicle. That's a problem? So this is a difficulty. Okay. That's not how it's supposed to work. <clears throat> does appear to have survived, which is kind of funny, but that was a failure. So let's just make a proper airplane. Actually, I don't even think that's going to be necessary. Come on. Or you're not going to fly properly and die. Okay, that's kind of funny. This is attempt number two. I don't actually expect this to work. Oh, oh, is this thing actually flying? It flies.
although it doesn't respond particularly strongly. I oh know, I oh know. It tends to tilt up. I'm going to keep this okay we are I think as aligned as we're ever going to be so I'm just going to do this come on Come on, this vehicle is actually very, very difficult to aim. Touch B for brakes. And we managed to land this, this honestly really janky craft. Now I am going to do some science here because we can just do that. Uh, we can transmit this. It's not like we have a problem with electric charge. Observe this. Uh, observe this. Q. 
keep one of them. Uh. Uh. Well, I can actually grab the experiments. So keep that. We're going to log this pressure data. We're going to EVA and basically say I I hope I can get back in. I hope she can get back in because that would be a disappointment. Yeah. Hmm. Let's see. There we go. Let's take this data and I don't know. That should be fine. And we can board this again and actually log the temperature. That way we can maximize the science. I'm not going to take this extra one because it is honestly not going to deliver much. That said, it's not going to deliver much. I'm going to keep it. And that should be everything. Although I forgot one important thing. EVA report. So let's just, uh, so let's recover. So we did earn 22.1 science from just doing that. And that was honestly nothing aside from my ridiculous things. So I've completed the temperature surveys, which gave us, netted us some money. So now we finally have a mission to recover someone from orbit. So we're going to take this, but we're not going to go for that just yet. But that's excellent news because it does guarantee that we can actually, uh, like, go to Ornel, uh, Orny's craft and do a rendezvous with it, which will complete the achievement, which is kind of cool. Also, evidently someone wants me to launch a satellite. This is also really good. So I'm probably going to do that. Uh -huh. And let's see. Okay. So within reasonable deviation. Okay. Have a thermometer on the satellite. Maintain stability. This is a good one. Uh. And I will probably start launching satellites. Yep, that's not going to work. Yep. That's actually a problem. It's this thing. So, I need to start my breath now. Also, I'm evidently unstable no matter what. I don't even have- okay. Okay, I'm, I'm such a jerk. Uh... meant to take this contract. Okay. I had not... I didn't... I failed this launch. We don't have enough fuel. Okay. just forget my engine.
Oh my god. <laughs> After all that, I'm just like, oh, it's about the same length. Don't. <laughs> oh my god. I actually have to apologize for that. That that was horrible. Okay, after many attempts, I think I'm finally ready. <laughs> Okay, lowering my throttle, which is going to help uh, reduce the fuel cost a little bit. Let's see. How are they? Yeah, it does seem like things are going to be fine. This way. Let's just drop this part. Now, this time we have the engine. We are going to be flipped backwards because, well, no matter what I do, like I'm still in atmosphere. This thing still has far more drag on its nose than it does any other part. So I'm just going to have to do it like this. And I'm going to add a maneuver and have this maneuver just come out and reach uh, one end of this. And I'm going to assume it's going to take a little longer than last time. So I'll start burning when it gets around 10 seconds. That's semi current is hurting. I want this to be a little less. And now let's set this. And so yeah. Oh, that's going to take a whole lot longer than I thought. But that's fine, that's fine. So what I'm going to do is, I don't need a maneuver node anymore. I just need to use common sense here. I want to be a little bit ahead just so that this 
apoapsis climbs, and I want to keep this apoapsis with me at all times. Now I just move prograde, and then keep moving prograde. And there we go. Then we add on the meter here, adjust it for precision, and just adjust it here. Descending, it does appear I'm two degrees off, which means I might want to do a little bit of an angular burn, but honestly I don't know if I really can. So let's just adjust this until it's precisely on target. Okay. Then we'll use this handy warp to next maneuver uh, button. This time we'll actually have the fuel necessary to get into the final orbit. So it's going to take us only 4 seconds. Don't run out of fuel, don't run out of fuel, don't run out of fuel. Okay. And I think we just managed to do it. There we go. And now we have a satellite on equatorial orbit. One thing I am going to do, uh, I need to guarantee that it's always going to have the ability to get uh, contact with the sun. That's actually not right. Let's direct it towards the pole. Let's align it. Now, no matter what, we're going to have uh, one or two uh, solar panels at the sun, all times. So let's just uh, extend all our antennas and call it. Well, So there we go. We have a communication satellite now. And hopefully it actually does its job. Now is there anything else? I don't think there's anything else I really want to cover. Uh, didn't get any uh, that much science, just like 40 science. And we really want heavy rocketry or propulsion systems. Probably fuel systems and heavy rocketry is going to be good for us. Uh, advanced construction is also excellent because we get an, uh, a fairing, which means that we could actually deploy satellites efficiently. Like that was nightmarish with all the extra drag. Landing is a good one to have, but we don't need right now. Advanced flight control is a good one to have, but we don't really need right now. This is a nice one to have, but we don't really need it. And this is an excellent one to have if we want to just start diving into making stations. So, yeah. Anyway. Let's see here. I don't really have a way to do that easily. Uh... I could try that, but I don't know if I really want to. 
Like this one wouldn't be hard. But I'm not going to. Uh, what we want is science data from space around carbon, which we can just do now. So I'll do that in the next episode or something. We want to explore carbon. We want, like, we want to do orbital space walk and to transfer a crew, meaning that we need to rescue someone. And I will be sending up a probe for that. And then we need to actually land on the moon, which that's going to be very interesting. Like, okay. As well as test this over uh, flight, which we could definitely do without difficulty uh, with the plane that we made. Anyway, this has been Trekker Joe, and I will see ya later or something. Have a good day.